you a fan of Barack Obama? Yeah, hey, I support Obama. Hey, yeah. Mm. It's good to know. Did you uh you seen where they were buying guns back in Chicago for like a hundred dollars? <laughs> yeah, the buyback shit. Yeah, yeah, the turn in. Yeah, y'all turn any in? Yeah, no. <laughs> you feel like that's a rip? A <laughs> hundred dollars? Yeah, hey, a nah, 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 thousand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nah, I seen that shot. I'm like, niggas ain't turning no gun in for no hundred dollars. Nah, what you doing? That should be having a long ass line. What they mm. be turning them in? They be stealing guns and then turning them in or some shit. I don't know what they be doing. When we posted about it, it was mad people leaving comments saying that they'd done this before and that people would be coming from out of state to turn in like old janky ass guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like not guns that are probably really at risk yeah, of being crimes, used. Yeah, for sure. But so what? You could you could take a gun that has been used in a whole bunch of murders and go in, go there and turn it in anonymously. Mm-hmm. And they, they take BB guns, they take all that shit. That's crazy. Paintball gun, they take all of. Them. You just don't get as much. You get like twenty five dollars or some shit for them. Niggas trust that though. Like even though they saying like, oh y'all y'all cool to turn you these guns. You don't catch no street nigga doing that. Yeah. You gonna see like older people, different races doing that type shit. Yeah. No, that, that, that might they don't be locking like a up though. Or oh, so you think it's genuine or like they ain't trying to put nobody in no trick bag? Nah, hell no. Nah. I listen to this podcast about how they actually take the guns that they get and they basically like refurbish them and then just sell them online. Like the company that runs the program, yeah. sometimes they're like, basically those guns are going right back into the streets. Yeah, but they're probably being sold like on websites to people that are, you know, probably not. In Chicago, not yeah, gang sure. members and shit like that, but it's like it's not like those guns are just going away. Yeah, for sure. Unless they're total pieces of shit. I don't know what they do with them motherfuckers. Yeah. When last time you talked to Kiddo? Uh, about two weeks ago. He holding down in there because I, I seen a video. Well, not a video, but like <clears throat> it was rumors going around that he got in a fight. Then like the it surfaced. He had like a black eye and shit. Yeah. He been in any more fights and shit in there. Oh, I think he did just have a fight. That's why he can't, because he can't even get on the phone. He got, like, one call a month or some shit, two calls a month. He can't get on the phone right now. He got to fight somebody. I don't know who it was. All right. They said he in Cook County? Nah, hell nah. He in the joint. All right. They say he's supposed to get out, like, a year from now? Yeah, up next year, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, now y'all back on the music as soon as you get out, all right? Mm, for sure. But I always be asking uh, everybody who come up here that's from Chicago, who would you put on the, the Mount Rushmore drill for Chicago? Man. Four people. Uh, the Round Rush War. This, I say, because I, I I'm i saying this is my Round Rush from Rushmore from just off the effect they had, not like that I fuck with. Yeah. So I say King Louie, Duck, Chief Keith. And I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say Rose. I'm gonna say Rose. All right. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. That's his rap name. We gotta look him up because I ain't heard yeah. of him. Yeah, 051 Rose, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He home. was in the Zach TV? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I know. Light scale yeah. injury. Well, he had like a Louis. And so, so. I don't know. I, think, a, I don't know what he had on. I think I think I seen him in the. I think he had a red jacket on. Maroon Jacket. Oh, yeah, I seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, for sure. Where where he be at now? He be rapping and shit still? Nah, he locked up right now. Yeah, he locked up. Who, 051, Ario, or is it's like Ario, Ario? Is, I be Ario saying, or Arrow. Those two different people? Yeah. All right, for sure. Both of them locked up? Nah, they both out. Oh, they both out. All right, yeah. Because I seen a video, like one of them, it was like an interrogation video where he was crying or some shit. He went viral. You talking about Ariel. All right, yeah. so that was Ariel. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So he, where he, he still he rap? Did he rap? Nah, he don't rap. Oh, yeah. He just one of the homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, for sure then. So what So what, what? can we be expecting from drilling in the future and shit? Like, what, what you got? I know you said you got the tape that you're working on. Yeah, yeah. Just videos. I don't lie. I'm working on videos, tape. That's about it. Mm, that's about it. All right, so you know the kids be watching this and shit. Like, give a message to the youth, to like all the kids that might be keeping up with the drill culture and like following what y'all got going on. 
like a message you would give to somebody who who might be thinking about following y'all footsteps. Man, don't follow our footsteps. Go to school. That's that's what a that's what a females at. You shit go to school. You can really choose the right way, the right way of living. Cause this shit we going through, this shit ain't right. It ain't it. You don't want to go through this type shit. Even though. It seem cool, look cool and shit. This shit really ain't cool. Motherfucker. Really damaged. Like, the whole soul damaged, brain damaged. Even though we living and breathing every day, we still fucked up. It ain't something nobody want to experience. That's real. That's real.